let's see remember that this button is called button browse and this button is called button add we want spaces in between the way we're gonna do that is and and these two buttons are inside hbox number six this is hbox number six so inside our hbox number six in between browse button and add add but add book button we're gonna need to put a horizontal strut so between browse and add file hbox six dot add and gonna add box dot create create horizontal oh my god what's wrong with me create horizon horizontal strut and let's say the width is you know what? I'm not even gonna play with you guys I've already created as I said I've already created the first part of the GUI and I already know the values that I'm gonna put in here and as I said when you're creating a GUI from scratch it's gonna be trial and error so let's say let's say you first say okay you first say it's like 50 if you first uh, put space uh, of width 50 and then you run the program you run your application you run it and it's gonna it's be like oh okay um, so yeah so and then you change it again you keep changing it until you find the right the right amount the right uh, amount of uh, horizontal struts and uh, you know you need to experiment with the numbers for now I, I really don't want to make this tutorial long it's already so long I think it's already been an hour so I'm just gonna give you the exact numbers uh, I'm sorry about that uh, we want the end result to be like this so we want to add a horizontal strut here before we add the browse button and the add file button so that's before even that's the first thing we're gonna add in the hbox 6 and we're gonna give it the width of 82 and this horizontal uh, horizontal strut in between the button and the add file and the add file button is just this little this little horizontal strut right here and its value is 5 again this horizontal strut value right here the first thing that we added in our hbox 6 is <laughs> sorry about that, is 82 now if we take a look and run our application just close this look ooh pretty cool so this is horizontal uh, strut length 82 this is horizontal strut length uh, 5 and we're just gonna do that for the rest of them uh, let's see we wanna add space in between this J label and this button so let's just do that I'm gonna add in horizontal strut worth 99 in between the JL log dog and the button add book I know it's 99 because I, I again I said I've already played around with the numbers I played around with the numbers calibrating and making everything fit to, this, to the right proportion and size and so I've spent like about an hour doing that but for now I'm just giving you the exact numbers that uh, that'll make it as pretty as possible now we're also gonna add a horizontal strut to our HBox 8 and it's gonna be the first thing that we add in our HBox 8 now we're done with our horizontal struts if you're in our 
application, the horizontals are now aligned properly. Now let's put some spaces, some vertical struts in between these JTEX fields, these uh, H boxes, so that it's spaced out a little bit vertically. And we're just going to uh, put a vertical strut with value 5 in between all of these uh, all of these H boxes that we add onto the main box. So do that. And now if we run our application, yay, it looks very nice and neat. This configuration really took me quite a while. <laughs> and I had to keep closing the program, running the program, changing values and stuff like that. Like that. But lucky for you, I'm already giving you the values that you need, which are these values over here. We also see that uh, this add book, we want to change the length of this add book tab. So we want to make this, this tab, this tab thing bigger. The way we're going to do that is, uh, you know what, um, leave it like that for now. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to that later because we're still not done adding adding some stuff here. Still need to add like let me see. Um hold on one. Yeah, you know what guys, we're actually done. We are done with our uh with our ad book panel for now. For now. This is everything for now in our ad book panel. So again, if you're on your program, it looks like this. Pretty sweet. Oh, and we forgot to add in a uh, horizontal strut in between save and, save and quit. So let's do that real quickly. Yeah, there it is. Forgot to add in our horizontal strut. Let's copy this, paste it here. And make sure you change, if you're copying and pasting, make sure that you're changing the value of the number, H box. This is H box number 8. All right. Let's run it again. And there we go. All right, pretty cool. Let me close this for now. And now we're ready to create our other panel. Remember I said we were going to create two panels. And now that we're done creating this panel, we're going to create the Browse Library panel. 